Hey guys, my name is Chase and I started collecting cassettes in 2023. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best not to sound like one of these like Zoomer hipster kids. I will say that I am familiar with cassette tapes. Back when I was a kid, I used to have a Thomas the Tank Engine cassette tape that I would play like religiously. So I'm not one of these like TikTok kids that are like, wow, this is so retro, look at this vintage thing. So anyway, today I just wanted to talk about why I started collecting cassette tapes in 2023. And we'll look through my very, very small collection of cassette tapes. So I guess to start things off, here is my Blink-182-9 cassette tape. I was able to find this cassette tape on Amazon brand new, which was very exciting. That's the thing that I'm kind of picky about is that like, I like to buy cassette tapes brand new. I think right now there has been a resurgence of cassette tapes very similar to like, you know, the vinyl record resurgence a few years ago. So luckily there are a lot of artists and bands that I listen to that are putting out cassette tapes again. In fact, the reason I even started collecting cassette tapes here is because Avenged Sevenfold's new album Life Is But A Dream is gonna be released on cassette tapes. So I ordered that and then I was like, okay, this could be kind of fun. I'm just gonna go look for a bunch of different cassette tapes. <laughs> anyway, I really like this Blink-182 one. The actual tape itself here, it's like a shiny pink, which I think is like really cool. I think it matches the vibe of like the cover of the album and everything. I also really like that cassette tapes come with this little like pamphlet. I used to love these in like um, CDs and whatnot. I love looking through this stuff. And then, you know, you also get like a nice little artwork or print or something in here. Unfortunately, this is one of these cassette tapes where they don't put the lyrics on the actual insert, which is kind of a bummer. I like when the inserts have the like official lyrics coming straight from the artist or band. Also, what I really like about cassette tapes is that they are just very cute. <laughs> I did go through a phase where I was just like buying a bunch of vinyl records, and I think vinyl is awesome. Like, I really, really love that as a medium to listen to music. However, my biggest gripe with vinyl records is that they take up so much space, which can be a good thing because obviously Obviously, you know, you have this like giant canvas for artwork and whatnot. For me though, I just wanted something where, you know, I could collect something physical. I love me some physical media and it doesn't take up a giant amount of space. So I think cassette tapes are really nice, really cute, compact. I love it. <laughs> but anyway, that's Nine by Blink-182. The next cassette tape we have here is Church's Screen Violence. So there's the front cover, uh, there's the side. Church's Screen Violence. I started listening to Church's kind of recently, I think. So this was actually the first album that I like listened to by Church's. This one I bought off of eBay and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit like scared and skeptical about this one because when I tried listening to this tape, I felt like the audio quality wasn't very good. That's something scary I've learned about cassette tapes is that it's very easy for people to like record over, you know, and just sell like a bootleg cassette tape. I'm hoping that this one that I got is official it's like, you know, it's red, which I think once again matches the vibe of the album cover. It looks very, very nice. But I don't know, looking at the insert, like the font, I feel like looks a bit off. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know, I'm a little bit skeptical about this one. I'm scared that I actually just got like a bootleg cassette. And opening up this one, there is no like lyrics or even like song, like track list. It's just a big print of, I think that's Lauren from Churches. And then you have the credits on the inside, but that's Green Violence by Churches. And then the last cassette tape we have here is 72 Seasons by Metallica the newest album. This one I also really like because the actual tape is this bright neon yellow, which is kind of like the vibe of this album for some reason. <laughs> and I also really like this tape because this is the only one in my like tiny little collection here that has the actual lyrics in the insert. It does mean that this insert is like kind of like big and chunky and massive, but I don't know, I like having the actual lyrics and the font is tiny, but you know, it's nice to have it there. So I am excited to have a Metallica album on cassette, but that is my very tiny growing cassette tape collection. <laughs> I also bought this this off of Amazon. This is like a shelf to keep all of my cassette tapes in. So I can just kind of like stand it up anywhere and then, you know, just throw these cassette tapes in here. I just think it's like very aesthetic and like kind of cute. <laughs> and then also, I guess I'll show you guys the boom box that I ended up buying. I found this on Amazon and I'm not gonna lie, it is just a cheapo, just little tiny little boom box. <laughs> it's made by Victrola. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I know they have like a vinyl record turntable. So yeah, I just found this on Amazon. I thought it looked cute and it is very cute. Like look how tiny it is. I don't know, I like how small it is. It does only have one speaker grill and like the audio quality on this is honestly just terrible. <laughs> but to be 
honest, like, you know, I'm not only listening to cassette tapes. Like, this isn't my only way of listening to music. I just think it's like a fun thing to have. And I don't know, there's something really satisfying and fun about actually physically putting a cassette tape in here and like listening to it spin. It's just like a novelty thing, I guess, for me. So I'm not too worried about like getting like the best audio quality. I'm just kind of doing this for fun. So I don't mind too much. But anyway, I think that is pretty much everything I have to say about collecting cassette tapes in 2023. Some of the cassette tapes that I am kind of on the lookout for are obviously I pre-ordered the Avenged Sevenfold Life is But a Dream cassette tape. So I'll be waiting for that. In fact, that album comes out next week when I'm recording this. So very hype. I also really want to find the Black album by Metallica. They re-released it for the anniversary of that album. So I'm hoping to find like a brand new copy of the Black album. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys are collecting cassette tapes. If you want to learn more about what kind of music I listen to, I made a little video going through my Apple Music library. You can check it out. But thank you guys. My name is Chase and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.